What did you say, Cord? Okay, so it's the first of the month, which means today is our, yeah, let's all dance for like one more month down and one exciting month coming up. So it's our um, first call of the month. So we're just gonna go over a few things and then I'm gonna stay on and we're just gonna make it a power hour. So everyone just has time to like hit messages. Um, so first of all, I know Michelle wanted to be in that Ohana block release group. Are you in it? Are you in the thread? No. Have you registered? I don't know. Okay. So you haven't registered. So I don't know how to register. There was a link. So, and Brooke said, Hey, message me to let me know you want in. And she had caught and like, uh, you had commented you wanted to be in it, but I didn't know if you had gotten it. So I'll forward you the link and then you have to register it. And once you're registered, then I can put you in the messenger thread. So oh, cool. that's something Ohana's doing. Brooke has her friend that does her energy release blocking in a group. It's four weeks and um, anyone that watches tonight, right? Starts tonight. Anyone that watches this later, if they want to hop in, contact me, contact Lee, whatever and or Brooke directly and say, hey, get me in. It starts tonight. It's for four weeks in March. Um, I look at it as if you have the time to put it in your schedule, it's one more great thing that can help you along your journey. <laughs> so if you are too busy and Thursdays have other commitments, then it's okay. It's don't just, it. yeah, you don't have to like add one more thing to your plate if you don't have time. So so, um, so yeah, so I did finally get the messenger thread. So, it, and then today she just said, make sure anyone on your team that has registered is in. So did you register Charlene? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you get in the messenger thread? I just noticed it. Yes. Oh, okay. Perfect. So Michelle, I'll send you the link. Make sure you got in. Okay. The other thing is we still have dollar enrollments right now, right? Our dollar enrollments and you... Is it the promo code for the free shipping is the share love or something like the pro I think the dollar enrollment automatically is there. And then the promo code is to get shipping on top of it. So it's kind of like yeah. two deals with one. Um, we still have success sprints that you can be earning towards things. We have some people um, winning Mexico trips right now. <laughs> so one thing I did want to do is instead of uh a win for yourself. I thought it'd be fun to do a shout out win for somebody else, like on your team or maybe a sideline or something. So um, I'm going to start out with Michelle is my uh, win for this week is, and even the past couple weeks is Michelle has been getting people onto the zooms with Lee. Like yes. she has been doing tons of zooms with Lee, even like calls with Brooke and like you're rocking it and it's going to pay off. Like it, sometimes it takes a couple, you know, times to get people on to find the one that's ready to go. But like, like I have had both Lee and Brooke comment that are like, Michelle is like doing this like you're, and Lee's always like, she has people hopping on every Tuesday, Thursday or whatever. So that's my shout out. So Michelle, do you want to go next? Yeah. Um, I just want to shout out Rachel because she's always willing to help me. And then whenever I call for a question, she's always like, yeah, do this, do this, do this. And I'm like, how did I not know? But I'm glad that she's there. <laughs> you know what though? I do the same thing with Lee. Like I'll call Lee and she'll say things. And I'm like, why didn't I think of that? Or why, you know, like sometimes you just need somebody else talking it through with you to like go, oh yeah. So I do it too. So yeah. Okay. Charlene, even if your team's not here, you want to shout out, like <laughs> hopefully they'll watch this later. So yeah. Um, I would like to shout out to, to both Kirsten and Lori that have been like texting me. What can I do? What can I do? Um, Cause I have a super huge goal this month. Ooh, that's awesome. I like, is it, I, is it shareable? Like, do you like share it? And then it's more real. Like it makes it more real, doesn't it? Like yeah, just it does. share it. I, I would like to um, rank senior gold. And I haven't even ranked gold yet. Ooh. No, I was so close. I was four orders away last month. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. So I would like to really push myself, get out of my comfort zone. No more, you know, oh, I'm sure something will happen later. <laughs> if I just... <clears throat> so they've been really good about, um, about supporting me and, and asking what they can do. So it's been really 
um, encouraging to me. That's awesome. It is refreshing to go, okay, I'm not on this journey by myself. <laughs> as much as it is your own business, you run it your own way. It is your journey, but to go, oh, I have people that will lock arms with me and I can call them up and like get help anytime I want. So mm -hmm. that's awesome. Perfect. Okay. So does anybody else have any other announcements of like what's going on that I've missed so far? I think that's kind of what's going on. Okay. So for a power hour, I want you guys to look into your Plexus app, maybe for some old people that maybe you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot to message this person or that you've sent them everything and they've never ordered, go in and pick a new video. There is now a new video on the Im immune plus. So even if you're like, okay, I've sent them a bunch of stuff. I sent them get help, but just hop in and be like, Hey, we have this new product. I did that the other day. And I was like, it's our new immune and everyone knows right now everyone's concentrated on immune. So I thought you might want the video, watch the video. Okay. So that's a video that you probably haven't sent to that. You probably could go through your whole list just to be like thinking about you. Here's a new product or, or if you're worried about your immune system, here's a great new thing. Okay. Elderberry right now is like the word I'm hearing everywhere. Like elderberry so good and this and that. And I actually have a group coming to my house tonight and one of the girls is presenting on elderberries, you know, mm elderberry is in our immune plus and i actually had somebody else that was doing a live with their company their product whatever and they're like and the main ingredient in this is elderberry i'm like okay that's now the new buzz you're gonna hear that all the time and so to know that it's in our immune plus i think is an awesome thing to be aware of so if you haven't quite gone in and like read through ingredients and stuff like that just kind of be aware like it was when our the balance came out i think and like and I, and I had seen that the, it's like fork skin or whatever that weird word is that sa that sounds like foreskin, <laughs> you know, like, I'm always like, yeah, oh, it sounds like a weird wood name or whatever. Like, it was like, I had been hearing that. And then when that came out, I was like, oh, that's in this. Like it was the buzz or whatever, two years ago or whatever, you know? So elderberry right now is the buzz. A lot of companies are coming out with a lot of products that have elderberry in it. Even my mom last night, she's like, I love this product from this other company and the main ingredients, elderberry, you know? And I add it to my slim, you know? So, and so be aware of that's an awesome thing to even just spark up conversations with dead people. Like the, even if they're not in your Plexus app, but you're like, okay, this is somebody I've reached out to. They're on the back burner, but every now and again, I hop in and like keep tabs, you know, so you could do that as well. Also look into people that maybe you're not quite with the Plexus relationship yet, or you've done the Plexus and you need to go back to just building relationship because they're kind of not ready yet. And just kind of, sometimes I'll open my messenger and just scroll through old messages. Cause that'll tell me people that like, I haven't contacted in a while and that I can just hop in. Sometimes I'll like open it up on two screens. I'll go, oh my gosh, that name popped up. I'll go to their Facebook page just to see what they're up to, you know, and then send a message. Hey, saw you went on vacation or this or that, or I haven't talked to you in a while you're on my mind, you know, that kind of a thing. I do like to go to Facebook because every now and again, like every now and again, you get somebody that's like, grandma died this morning and you'd hate to like reach out to them and be like, hey, da, 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 da. and they're like, don't, you know, my grandma just died, you know, like something like that, that you're aware of that so every now and again, I'm like, oh, I should not reach out to them because of whatever and put them on the back burner and, you know, and wait a day or two and then go, hey, sorry for your loss or whatever, or, you know, or I saw this and it's not too fresh. So that's, that's just my little tip of like, I do like to, instead of just randomly going through messenger and messaging people, I like to pull up their page and see what they're up to currently. Um, and sometimes that sparks the conversation. Um, you can also do that in Instagram messenger, you know, and like scroll through old uh, messages to kind of spark some things and then do your like five to 10 minutes on Facebook of like, okay, who's in my current feed that I have not like reached out to and message. And, and one thing I have tried really, really hard to do is when you're in so many groups in Facebook, Facebook just wants you to see all those groups. And so sometimes I'm like, I don't want to reply to messages just to like make conversations in these groups because then that's all Facebook wants me to see. So sometimes I'll go through my feed and I'll keep scrolling past the five people you see every day. 
I'll scroll past all the groups until I start hitting real people that I haven't seen in a bit. And then I'll like start making comments or messaging and stuff like that. So that's one thing I've personally been doing lately is like, I don't want to see the same five people. And like, and even though I love all of my Plexus peeps, like sometimes I'll have to scroll through all my Plexus peeps to like go, okay, I need somebody that's not Plexus that I can interact with, <laughs> you know? So even though I love all you guys, like sometimes I'll be like, oh, I don't want to respond too much. And which is why it's so good that when you do want, like Michelle do this really good, like, okay, I did a post and I need some love. And then I'll go, yep, absolutely. Like I'll go in anytime someone does that. So if you ever do have posts like that, make sure you do ask because I know there's a lot of people too that like, like Brooke is always like, I don't just randomly message on all the Plexus people, but if you tag me or tell me, you know, she goes, I'll definitely go there and respond, you know, kind of a thing. And, and, and there's been a lot of the posts lately, like, what would you do if somebody said you could never have your Plexus again, you mm -hmm. know? I love those because those are testimonials. So if I see something like that, I'll be like, oh yeah, like I can fill in a testimonial for somebody kind of thing. So those are a few things. Um, and I think just going back to like, I go through phases where I post a lot and then I kind of die down a little bit and then I kind of come back and kind of thinking of maybe like a plan of like some things you could post. You could do that in the power hour of like, okay, maybe plan out my week or plan out like some things like lately. Um, I told my husband, I go, my goal is to do three lives a week, which is scary for me. And on Monday I was like, I don't know what to do. And so off the top of my head, like constipation just popped into my head. And so I did this live on constipation and my husband was like, really? of all the topics you could talk about <laughs> constipation is when you choose, you know, and I got all done and he was like, that was really crappy. You know, and he was like joking about it and stuff like that. You guys, my thing was, okay, nobody talks about it, but everyone is affected by it. I had at least three people that reached out to me within the hour of posting it that like, they were like, what was that thing you talked about? Cause I talked about like psyllium you know, psyllium holes in that and some fruits and vegetables. And so it wasn't just a plexus video. It was just on constipation. I couldn't believe because I was trying to like hurry really quick because my daughter had a dentist appointment. And in my mind, I'm like, if I don't do it now, I'm not going to do it. You know, it's that like sweaty palm, like, oh, I just got to do it. So I was doing it really quick. And I was like, I wanted to do it at least 10 minutes so I could take it and upload it to YouTube as a video. And I wanted it to be at least 10 minutes long on YouTube but I had to take her to the orthodontist. So I like hurried, just finished it, posted it, like left. And then while I was at the orthodontist, I'm like, people are messaging me about the video. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Sometimes that you're like, this is the stupidest idea. Well, maybe it popped into your head for a reason. You know, maybe that's a topic that you should talk about. So don't be afraid to be like, nobody wants to hear about constipation, you know? And and I started doing the video and then I was like, oh, I better not keep saying the word poop or something. Like I kept saying like bowel milk because I'm like, what if Facebook's like, like blocking me because I'm saying poop too much in my video? I don't know. Like I was like, while I'm doing the video, I'm self-conscious of like, should I be using more general terms so that like it doesn't flag it as inappropriate? <laughs> so even while I'm doing the video, I'm like, oh, are these things I should be saying out alive or not? So, so yeah. So think of things like that, that if you're like, like I need to, like Charlene, you need to broaden your area of like where you're reaching out to people, you know, where you're doing things. Like what are some things that you can broaden your area to open more avenues so that you're not just trying to like do it the same old way, you know? And that, that might give you some ideas of like, oh, I could do this or I could do that kind of a thing. Like I went on stories. I did my live on constipation and on my stories, I did my detox and I just did, it's like water, lemon and organic maple syrup. I, I just did another live on the exact same thing. Cause I had at least four people reach out and go, what was the detox? So I had people that were reaching me about my story and then people that reached out about the life, but I purposely made them two different things. And I was like, Oh, that was kind of good. Like, like I, most of the time I'm doing my live and I hit Instagram and I try to do the same topic so that they, and I was like, Oh, like if you switch it up, you're actually pulling from different areas and different people. So, so if you have some creative ideas, you can share them with everybody, but that might give you some, like, like, I think when you hear people, you're like, Oh, I could try this other thing. And it might not be what I said, but it might spark your interest for something else. Um, what else? I think those are some areas. So I'll let everyone <clears throat> get started. I'll stay on here. 
I'll okay. mute. You guys can mute and then just unmute if you have questions or not. Or um, okay, what's that? Is that a calendar? So this is in your back office. It's under ah. um, like go to new ambassadors, start here, and you do the PDF or day one and the PDF um, thirty day plan. And this is how you can plan out your posts. Ah, perfect. So I'm doing now. I'm doing one in the morning and one at night. Perfect. Perfect. And are you doing um, Instagram and Facebook or just perfect? Instagram and Facebook. And I do like how you say to switch it up, but that's too intense for me right now. Well, honestly, and that's what I've always done. I'm like, I can't think of anything. So I make a post on Instagram and I share it to Facebook. You know, I make a feed on Instagram and I'm sharing it to Facebook. But when I do a live I'm, on Facebook, I can't yeah. share it back to Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I'm new on Instagram. And so I'm not sure how to do posts. I can, I've gotten so I can comment. Okay. Um, do you do want you me do, to do a little training for you? Do you mind? Do yeah. you mind, Michelle? No, nope, I don't. Okay. So grab your phone, open your Instagram. Okay. Okay, so when you open it up, um, you want to hit, if you hit the plus, it'll say Instagram and there's like a plus in a box. Oh, okay. Okay, hit that plus and it automatically defaults to a post, okay? But if you look at the bottom, there's like a highlight and it has post, stories, mm -hmm. reels, and live. Oh. Okay. Post is like your, here's my picture, one post. You can do up to 10 pictures on Instagram. So mm -hmm. kind of like Facebook, if you want to do more than one picture where it has your gallery, there's a little, a box on top of a little box in that gray circle. If you mm -hmm. click that, it lets you pick more than one picture. Okay? okay. If you don't click that and it'll just default to one. And if you click a second one, it'll switch it to the second one, if that makes sense. Or you can hit the camera and then take one with your camera. So if you hit story, okay, that's doing the mini live that mm -hmm. is like your mini stories, mm -hmm. um, just like your Facebook stories, okay? So that one, you can either push the button and do a live. Mm -hmm. Or if you're on stories, there's a little box in the corner that shows pictures. If you click on that, then you can pick a picture out of your gallery. Because if you're not comfortable with lives, then you can take a, you can use a picture you've already taken. And then, and you can do the same, like once you click on the picture, then you can type a word on it, you know, mm -hmm. or the one thing um, I like is if you swipe up, it'll let you pick the things like the polls or the ask a question kind of a thing. Oh, so, so I'm trying to that. get a picture here. Yeah, take a picture. Okay. Okay. So let's Oh, perfect. Okay, let's do a post and add it to the story so you see how to do both, okay? Okay. So if you click the little triangle or the little plus in the box, that'll be a post. You'll click your picture. It'll default to the last one you took. Not just a minute. It's not showing that picture. Oh, go out and come back in because you probably were open. Instagram was open. And so it just didn't show up because you took it while Instagram was open. So just exit out and come back in and it should have popped up. No, my picture isn't there. Did you take it with the camera or did you go out of Instagram and take it with I your- I didn't, I didn't take it. I didn't go out. I didn't go out of Instagram. Go out of Instagram and go to your camera, just your regular camera and retake the picture again. Okay. Bummer, dude. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Not that that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. You totally got this. Yeah, I like that rainbow. That's cute. Take a couple here. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. No, you're fine. Doesn't bug me none. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. They're pretty goofy looking, but anyway. That, I know. <laughs> when you look at yourself, you're like, nobody will want to see that, you know, but like how many times do you see other people and it's totally goofy and you're like, oh, I love that picture, you know, so don't feel bad about yourself. All right. Just do so it. So I got that. Okay. So it should say X new post and then have an arrow at the top. Yeah. If you click the arrow, then it takes you to a screen where if you want, you could apply one of those different filters, mm -hmm. which is like the color, you know, mm -hmm. you can make it anything you want. So like sometimes that. I'll do Clar Claritin if you want that pop color. Most of the time I do normal, you know, because then your skin's not some weird color you know, and then, okay. and then there's a little wand at the top that you can add other filters on, you know, so you could play around with that later, but okay. you would push the blue arrow again. And here is where then you can write your post. Is that like write a caption or write my, um, it's what will appear under your picture. And it okay. kind of looks like your caption kind of looks like your first comment. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put my liver detox drink. Mine. I add lemon and turmeric and ginger to my slim Ooh, yeah that's a good you one. you know what <clears throat> you saw the shoshani easily is it that she uh -huh. does i do that the lemon and ginger turmeric ginger and lemon mm. in in mine and i do a ginger drink when i juice that i'll juice um like lemon, ginger, celery, and apple together. And I love it. I haven't added the turmeric to it, but that would be good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So after you've got your words, then on Instagram, this is where you'd also put a hashtag or two, okay? And you don't wanna use things like Plexus because only other Plexus people are ever gonna you know, search hashtag okay. Plexus. You wanna do things like um, energy, uh, clean energy, happy energy, make me feel good. Um, you know, like uh, great day, you know, things like that are the hashtags. And they say like, <laughs> you know, like, <clears throat> sometimes I'll do one or two. <clears throat> You'll see a lot of people that have like, you know, 50 hashtags. Yeah. I do 30 because I watched the reel about a, somebody who's trying to teach people about how to do Instagram and things like that. And she said to, there's a website that you can go to, to research your hashtags. Yeah. And she said, if you do 30, you get more views. Yeah. So I've seen that and I was surprised that once I did that, I did get more like views. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I was going to say it was like the magic number was at least 16, but no more than 30 or something like that. So, um, so sometimes I'll have in my notes section, a handful of hashtags kind of saved. So I'm not retyping them all the time, but they do say, if you, you don't want to copy and paste and have it the exact same, you want to mix up your hashtags so that it doesn't look like it's the exact same hashtags in every single post. So a lot of times I'll copy and paste and then I'll delete a few, change a few, add a few, move around the order, things like that. Um, another trick I will do in Instagram is after I've done my words, I'll put like a, like a dot, like the period, hit return, period, hit return, like three or four times, then put all my hashtags in. Mm -hmm. 
And then it kind of just drops those hashtags below your sentences so that if you have something that wants to kind of stand out, it doesn't blend in with my hashtags. That's a personal thing. I have no idea if it makes a difference or not, but I like the way it kind of looks that way. Um, so then I'll put like, I'll do detox, clean, clean. energy, organic maple syrup. Things that I love to add in all of them. And Michelle, I don't know if you're 30, like, like microbiome, gut health, like those kinds of things that like people will search for. People will search for gut health. People will search for like those kinds of things. Um, that those are ones that you can have. I don't think I do microbiome. So I think I need to add that. Oh, microbiome. Mm -hmm. And then I always add my Instagram name. So mine's heal and be healthy. So I always hashtag heal and be healthy, mm. you know, like whatever your <clears throat> Instagram name is, use that as a hashtag as well. So that way, whether people hashtag you or at symbol you, you know, like you can kind of be tagged both ways. Okay. So once you've done all that, and you've got that ready, then you can see below, you can tag people just like you can in Facebook, okay? You can add a location. Now, I'm one that like, I'm a little more wary than I used to be about letting people know my location. Like, yeah. like I, your Instagram account can be a public or it can be private. And I was completely public and I didn't have to approve people to follow me. And one of my daughters got like a stalker and stuff like that. And it scared me because she was getting emails from somebody that I think the same person tried to like was on my Instagram. And I was like, Oh, I'm not being as cautious as I need to be. So sometimes in locations, like if I put a picture on there, I'll put the, the location of the picture, even though I'm not there. Sometimes I'll put things like happy, your happy family, like, or I'll put a location that is maybe a popular place around me. Or sometimes if it's snow, I'll do things like the North Pole or like there was one I did the other day and I did like words like my happy home or something like that as my location, if that makes sense. And it's funny because it like posted to Instagram and it posted to Facebook and when it defaulted to Facebook, it like said I was in another country or something. Like it randomly put something weird and somebody was like, are you on vacation right now? You know? <laughs> so, so it's one of those, you can choose if you want to add location or not. When I'm like, I do lots of like mystery shopping and stuff like that. And I have to add locations and, and check in, you know, in places and stuff that I'll do locations. But, <clears throat> or if I go on a hike, sometimes I'll be the city when I'm on. So be creative and like add fun locations because sometimes people will search locations. So maybe, maybe you always put your state, you know, and you just have states and no cities. I don't know. Okay. Then, um, if you see below, it says also post to now, if yes. you click Facebook, it has you linked to your Facebook account. So sometimes if you're not, it'll have you re log in on, um, on Facebook if it's not connected or Twitter. Like if you um, connect it to Twitter, then it'll automatically post on Twitter. And when it posts on Twitter, it kind of posts it as like a link instead of words. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I never go on Twitter and I never check Twitter. And so I'm like, I don't care if it's a link. It looks like I'm still posting on Twitter. So, you know, Tumblr is one that like in the past I've had accounts on Tumblr or stuff like that. Not yes. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't want to even push that because then I have to remember my login on Tumblr. So a lot of times I'll put Facebook and Twitter and then it does do a post for you on Facebook. So, um, you know, when I go Facebook, you know how you can copy and paste from Facebook and put it onto Instagram you cannot copy and paste from Instagram. So if you see a post you love on Instagram, you cannot highlight and copy the words that are oh, written in Instagram. Okay. So if I'm going to do a post and I'm not going to share from Instagram back to Facebook, then I'll do it on Facebook first so I can 
save the picture, copy and paste the message, and then go into Instagram and repeat it. So if there's a post that I'm like, oh my gosh, that was such a good post from like Sonia Gilson. And I'm like, oh, I love that. I want, I want some of the same wording. And it's on Instagram. I have to go look her up on Facebook to see if she made the same post and copy some of the words off that post. (laughs) So, and there's a lot of people that don't do both. So then I'll be like, ah, so if there's something you love on Instagram, just screenshot it to get the words because we all change up the words anyway, a little bit. So Mm -hmm. if you're like, Oh, I really like this and I'm not friends with them on Facebook, or I don't want to have to go search for it, just screenshot it. And then you can like save it for later because you're not going to be able to copy and paste. So, um, so that's one thing to like, know because a lot of times you'll do this huge, like, Oh my gosh, that was such a good post. And then you're like, Oh, I do not want to redo it for Facebook. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So then when you're all done, you got all your hashtags in, you got your words, you got your picture, then you just click the check mark again, and then that posts it for you. Okay. Yeah, it says finish, finishing up. Yep. Yay. Okay. Okay. So now when you're on this screen, do you see all the circles at the top? Yeah. Okay. Your picture's probably in the first one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hold, put your thumb on it and hold it down. And then the bottom will pop up and it'll say, add to your story or edit close friends list is what mine says. If you click add to your story right there, this is just adding something to your live feed and it does not make a post. So this is just a story and some, well, mine sometimes defaults to post. So if you want to add to the story, then at the bottom, make sure it's not on post, make sure it's on story. Okay. And then this is where you can like do a little live video. You can do a boomerang. You could even do the same picture and be like, love that this helps me get through the day and say something different. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then it's the same thing. Like it'll let you edit the picture. You know, if it, if you do a live, it breaks it up into like, is it like 10 or 15 minute segments kind of a thing. And, um, and then at the bottom of the screen, And it does that so that if you put in four pictures, you could then edit words on each of the picture before you post it, if that makes sense. Okay. (laughs) So play with a live, like put like when we're, when we get off, like hold the pink drink up and play with a live and be like, oh my gosh, I love this. Or do a little boomerang, you know, with the pink drink, something just to practice with it. Okay. And then when you hit, it'll say next and it'll pull it up and it'll say, where do you want to share this to? Okay. Mm-hmm. you can have it share to just Instagram or Instagram and Facebook. Okay. And I think if you have the, on, on the post, the little switch, so it's an on to automatically share to Facebook, like, you know, like, like if the it's other a, one. Yeah. yeah. I think that that's what makes it that it's automatically on in your Instagram. Cause sometimes it'll only post to Instagram and I'm like, wait. And then I'll be like, oh, the toggle was off in my post. If that makes sense. I think that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. But in Instagram, if you forgot or it didn't post to Facebook, then you can actually go back in. Let's see. So you're like, oh my gosh, I posted that. And I forgot to post to Facebook. Like, how do I get to post Facebook? If you go back into your own story, so instead of holding your thumb down, you just click your thumb once, it'll go through and see it's, I'm watching my own story here, okay? If I'm watching my own story, in the bottom corner down here, Mm -hmm. it has share to, and then it has Facebook, and then it has highlight, and then it has more. So you can then click the Facebook button and it will share that segment of your story. So, oh, okay. so you have to watch your whole story and in each segment, click that Facebook button. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So click that Facebook button. If you're like, I don't even know if I've shared it or not, you can click the button and it'll say already shared to Facebook if you oh, okay. if it already shared, okay? okay. Um, if you click highlight, then what it does is when you're in your own page, so if you clicked your, your, if you're on the home page, click your little circle in the bottom right-hand corner on, and that takes you to like your main page where it mm-hmm. shows your profile. Okay. You'll have little, you can have 
it says edit profile and then it says promotion insight saved and then is there a circle below that that says like there's probably a plus on it this is highlights yeah okay so well, mine says add account <clears throat> oh add account uh-huh oh yours says add account so you can have more than one facebook or instagram so it might give you that yeah. option if you want to add another one um but you can create a highlight and that's where you see if you go to people's pages and they have circles like i have one that says like my favorite quotes gut health like the only way to add something in a highlight is something that was on your story live so um and it can be something that was on live like months ago but um if you want to get to a place where you're like, oh, I did a whole bunch of lives about gut health and I want them to all be in one place and be saved. So if somebody goes to my page and they can click on the dot that says gut health and it's all the things that I've picked about gut health, mm, if that makes okay. sense. Yeah. So, so when you're doing your lives and you're like, oh, I did all that live and I feel like it's kind of gone to waste because it disappears after 24 hours, <laughs> like you can go back and save them in those highlights. So that's what those highlights are for. Now, do I really think that many people look at the highlights that much anymore? No, I think most people just watch stories. I think people watch stories way more than they see posts. Mm -hmm. So I think that even if you have a goal to make a post and start using it, stories doing, even if it's one or two little few second clips will keep you in people's mind every day, you know, kind of. A okay. thing. And, um, and that's how you can like start getting now honestly Michelle I don't know if this is you like I do Instagram and I do get people who follow and like but 99% of my people still come from Facebook that like reach out to me and I do have people that like reach out to me on Instagram and if yeah. I'm a Facebook friend I will take them back to Facebook to message because Instagram only lets you send like little tiny messages and then you have to like like it you know so and they're owned by the same company, like Facebook owns Instagram. So there's things on one that's good and things on one that's another one, you know? Mm -hmm. And so it's one of those things, like it has pluses and minus, but when you get started, just do a post and have it shared to Facebook. And you can always go back to Facebook and edit that post. So right now, because I'm not a business account, when it shares to Facebook, it shares it to friends only. And if I want it to be a public post, then I have to physically go into Facebook and edit my post to make it public. But I kind of like that right now so that if it's my family things, I don't forget and make them public. Okay. <clears throat> so that was our Instagram lesson for today. All right. <laughs> our video is going to end in about 30 seconds because okay. we're still on our 40 minute time. Yeah. So um, you'll have to finish your power hour. <laughs> Not on Sorry. video, but no, no, no. I love this because actually this probably was more helpful for you than sitting there doing a power hour. So, and now we have an Instagram on, um, training yeah. on a video. So, yeah. so yeah. Right. So have a great day and right. you can always send in questions on the messenger if you have any. You're right. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Right. Okay. See you guys. See you ladies. Bye.